tonight starting at 7 on SoapNet. Okay, Scanlon, get a grip. Tonight's the night. Hey. Hi. Hi. You're home early. Yeah. Wow, what's up? I'm cooking. Uh oh. Uh, no, it, it's kind of a a, a makeup dinner to um to make up for the lousy way I behaved the other night. You've already apologized about a hundred times. It's over, okay? Well, now I'm saying it with pot roast. And uh, there's uh, there's more. I, uh, I love you so much, Karen. The thought that I hurt you, I... Get frank. I Tonight is going to be a new start for us. I promise. Hey, is that everything you got on Rebecca Barrington? Yeah, everything I could find. Dude, Rebecca was one unpopular lady back then. Yeah. Hey, you really think she was a witch? Who knows? Yeah, I'll take that one. You talked to Libby? Yeah, she stayed with her dad last night. Called her a couple times, but... Hey, it'll blow over. Don't worry about it. Yeah, right. It's just that... <sighs> Jamal, Libby's fighting evil. Allison's some barn inhaling candles, and, and I've got a camera that takes pictures of people who disappear. Yeah, and a witch. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. How long was I asleep? <laughs> About 14 hours. Oh, God. You obviously needed it. <sighs> Jack called. I don't care. Yes, you do. He's worried about you. No, Dad. What Jack thinks is that I'm crazy, just like my mother. Did he say that? No. Not exactly. Dad, I don't know. It just seems like I'm the only one who gets how dangerous all this stuff is. That's why I burned Rebecca's things. I wanted to try and help Allison, not hurt her. That's all I've been trying to do since this started. And I know what it looks like. You think only a disturbed person goes around torching her best friend's things, right? I and mean, you think I'm crazy, too. No. Actually, I don't. Now, you'll want to keep the candles that soothe the lavender, the jasmine, and the juniper okay. together. Okay. The like lavender, this. the jasmine, Allison. and the juniper. Allison! Yoo-hoo! Allison, are you in there? Go, 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 go. you do this? Livy said she destroyed everything. Oh, well, I mean, Livy obviously exaggerated. Well, I guess so. Wait a minute. These candles, they, they look kind of different. They look new, actually. Yeah, I made them. You, you made them all in one night by yourself? Yeah. Well, actually, I did have, I did have a little bit of help from a friend. It's a relief to know that at least one person still believes in me. Honey, you know I do. But? But I think you and I both know you could have handled this differently. Dad, 
I know Allison is at loose ends. And with Rafe gone, she's searching for something to occupy her time. But this... I know, I know. I voiced my concerns about those candles with Lucy, too. You did? Yeah, we don't know what's in them. Well, I can tell you exactly what's in them. Well, if it's witchcraft or mind-altering drugs, then Lucy is not opening up some candle shop with Allison. A shop? I had no idea she was even considering opening up a shop with Allison. Well, you know Lucy. Once she saw the good things that the candles were doing... Well, not anymore. No, no more candles. Do you think I should go apologize to her? Well, she is your best friend. And you two have seen each other through the worst times in your lives. What do you think? I think she probably doesn't even want to see me anymore. Well, you never know unless you try. I'll tell you what, I'll go along for backup if you like. Really? Sure. Yeah, thank you, Dad. Maybe now that the candles are gone, we can all move on from this. Uh, it, it still amazes me. What? You are so beautiful. Thank you. And uh, now that I know you can cook, you're a keeper. So here, uh, to, to celebrate. Oh, oh okay. sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Uh, everything is fine. It's, it's good between us now, Frank. You can relax. Yeah, I was going to wait to do this, but I can't. Here. Well, what are you up to? Uh, The other day, when I said those horrible things to you, any other woman would have tossed me out on my ear, but you didn't. Because you're not like any other woman I've ever met. Your belief in me and your willingness to give, no matter what, takes my breath away. If I ever lost you, Karen, I don't know what I would do. Oh, that's not gonna happen. I'm just, I'm, I'm your basic average guy, nothing special, but you, you are my greatest asset. And if you share your life with me, I'll be the luckiest person on earth. My second luckiest. You, you're my happiness, Karen. You, you make me want to conquer the world, climb mountains, shoot for the stars. I, I feel like I've been searching for you my whole life. Now that I found you, I'm not letting you go. I I want to be with you forever. You're making me cry, skin. <laughs> Cut that out. Yeah, I'm, 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 not, I'm not doing this right. No, I, I, don't, I, I, I need to set a proper mood. Yeah, you're doing fine. No, no. A uh, a perfect woman deserves a perfect moment. together wasn't really all that hard once all the stuff that you ordered was delivered i couldn't really stop yeah um so this friend of yours yeah yeah uh, uh where are they well it's uh friend's not here <laughs> I, I i realize that but i sure i would like to meet him or her you know i just think that they have exquisite taste maybe i could use them at my work huh oh. what do you think hey guess what <laughs> look i thought of a name <laughs> look do you like it pink rose Pink Rose. Uh, yeah, I, I like it. You had a sign carved already? How did you do that? Oh, well, there's a shop, you know, down the street. And they, uh, they did a rush job for me. Wow, the, the Pink Rose. How did you come up with that name? Well, it's sort of silly, actually. It's 
silly. Yeah. You're talking to a woman who talks to her duck about love. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's kind of true. <laughs> See, I, I was sort of missing Rafe, you know, and I had this dream about him, and, well, it just sort of came to me, you know. And, do you know that this is the first time that I've... I felt complete since you left. You know, I finally feel like I'm at home. You are home. Look at that. You have your magic back. Oh, when I have you, I have magic. It's the way it always was, always will be. Well, whatever it is, I love it. And I love this rose, and I love you. Mm. And, and that's how I came up with the idea. Oh, that is very, very romantic and sweet. Yeah. I love that. I just Thanks. don't love that my cousin left. I don't understand it still. He's crazy. Yeah, well, I, I understand why he had to go, Lucy. <sighs> I'm glad you do. I wish I did. Let's not talk about him, okay? Let's talk about you. Uh, no, I don't want to talk about me. I want to talk about Livy what? and the fact that she's, you know, she's not the only one who isn't too sure that you should open this shop. I mean, Kevin's really having his reservations, too, you know? Why? It's my doc. He's a very practical, cautious guy, you know, when he thinks he should be. And he j he thinks that maybe we should test the candles and, and see what's going on with them before we sell them to the public. You know, Lucy, I understand if, if Kevin is against, you know, me doing this and stuff. I don't want to put you guys into any trouble. I don't I don't want to make waves or anything no, like that no, between no, the no, both no, of you. No, 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 you, you couldn't. Don't worry. That That's not to worry about. I just, I, I, it just made me think maybe we should test them just to see what's in them. Test them? What for? There's nothing in these that could hurt anybody. <laughs> so now, come help me hang this on. Oh, okay, I guess there's no harm in that. Hey, you have a camera? Wait, wait, let's get a picture of you hanging the sign. Okay, do you need help? No. Okay, you, you're, okay, wait, well, I wanna capture this. You are the queen of candles now. Do you have, oh, look how cute that looks. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Oh, I love it, it looks good. Is it? Yeah. It does, it looks really good, the big rose. Gosh, it feels really official, you know, now that it's hung. Yeah. I like it. You know, um, I, I, don't, I don't mean to put a, a damper on this at all, you know, it's just that this, this place is really way the heck out there, and so I'm thinking maybe we're gonna have to do a lot of advertising and marketing just to get customers to show up. They're not even gonna know we're here. Oh, well, I was kind of thinking that maybe that the candles could speak for themselves, you know? I didn't want to put a whole... Well, yeah, but the... Love candles? Oh, come here. Look at these lavender ones. What do you suggest for a birthday gift for someone special? Um, um... Well, I suspect we are in business. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, oh, so, uh, 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 warmth. Uh, you know, I, I love these. I've tried them. I so smell this. It's terrific. Do you love it? Mm. It's great, isn't it? They're called warmth, and they make Lucy. you feel... What are you doing here? So, are you going to make me the happiest guy on the planet, or should I resign myself to a life of sheer misery? You know, in my heart, I'm already yours. But, yes, yes, I'll marry you. Oh. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> Why? Well, the first time we got engaged, you asked me. It, it took me by surprise, and I, I wished I'd, I'd had a ring to slip on your finger. Well, this time, I'm prepared. It's beautiful. It's a perfect bitch. So, uh, what do you say, Cinderella? When do you want to get hitched? Oh, Frank, uh, I can't wait to be your wife soon. Soon. Hey, um, what do you say? We forget about making dinner and just make love. You know, it's not every day a girl gets proposed to. Frank, Frank, why are you looking at me like that? Whatever makes you think I would marry a slut like you. Can't find anything in this pile. How about you? Nope, nothing yet. It would help if we knew we were looking for, though. Okay. Okay, let's just start with what we do know, okay? Right. I've seen Rebecca in pictures I've taken with that old camera. Okay, one minute her image is there, and the next minute her image is gone. I know, it's like taking pictures of a ghost or something. 
Maybe, maybe it's like some kind of a trick camera. Yeah, you know, I thought that. I thought maybe that those old plates had like double exposure in them. Or well, that, that would make sense though. No, but it, you know what, Jamal? It's poor Charles. It's got to be something that that doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Come on. Oh, wait a sec. What was the name of that photographer who who was supposed to take Rebecca's picture oh, after she came? Yeah, I got it right here. Uh, Peter John Walker. Why? Oh my gosh. Look, his name is etched right here. This is what? his camera. Yeah, look. Wait, but, but how did the camera that took pictures after Rebecca died end up in her possession? That, unless, unless Rebecca took it after she died. Where did all this stuff come from? I burned it all. There was nothing left. Um, yeah, well, Lily, well I don't have to explain anything to you. Lucy. I thought you said you were going to back off this project. Um, I know. I said that, and I did. I backed off. I just came by to check on Allison to kind of commiserate and, and everything. But then yeah. I, I probably got trampled by customers. I had a friend come by and help me with the store, and Lucy just, just happened to be here, but she had nothing to do with that. No. After I left this place yesterday, it was in shambles. There's no way you could have got all this together unless you use some kind of magic. Libby, will you please keep your voice down? You're, you're gonna scare off my customers. Good, they should be afraid, Libby. Allison. Excuse me, sir. You cannot buy these candles. You don't know what you're buying. No, miss, please, please. Uh, uh, Libby, you know what, maybe this now is isn't dangerous. the time. What, you want proof? I'll show you proof. I'll show you exactly how dangerous these candles are. Who has a match? Come on, we'll light them and you can see right now that I'm not the crazy one. Listen to you, the tramp who used to take your clothes off for men, who uses your body to get what you want? Frank, you need help. <laughs> I, I don't need help from trash like you. I'm gonna leave now. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Let go of me! Where are you going dressed like that, huh? To meet one of your customers? Rebecca died. She was hung right in front of the whole time. There were plenty of witnesses. Yeah, but then why was the photographer able to get pictures of her body? That's, the lady, she had a lot of powers. Maybe, maybe she did something to make the camera stop working. I don't yeah, know. Jamal, but why does the camera still work for me years later? I guess she wants you to take your picture now. Dude. Okay, then why does she keep pulling this disappearing act? What are we missing? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, wait a sec. Look at this. I mean, look at this. It says Rebecca had a candle shop. Yeah, so what? We know that. I uh, guess where it was. In the barn. We gotta get Allison out of there. Well, that's easier said than done. Client Livy, you wanna light all of my candles? Go ahead. I've got nothing to hide. Why don't you try lighting something like this? Maybe that's something you forgot about. Trust. Yeah. Allison, what happened to trouble or anger or I don't hate? Why don't you light them? Candles like You're that. a liar, Allison. Libby, Libby, why don't we go home? Why, Dad? Because you think I flipped my lid? I'm telling you. I destroyed this stuff yesterday, and now there's magically more candles on the shelves than before. Why won't any of you listen to me? Libby. No one's gonna believe me until it's too late. Well, coming here wasn't such a great idea. For uh, me or for you. I thought maybe it's time we face what's really going on here, and I do not think it has anything to do with me or Allison. What do you say? I think it's Livy. You know, it's understandable. She has gone through so much. Maybe she's sort of cracking under the pressure, you know, instead of Allison needing help. I think it's Livy. I'm gonna go be with her. Okay. I'm, I'm right behind you. Wait, um, bye, Kevin. Bye, Lucy. Hey, I will, I'll call you, okay? Okay. 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 Wow. So much for my big opening. Times haven't changed. You wish with all your heart that they would, but I was afraid of this. You mean with Livy? It's just like before. People bringing their doubts and their darkest fears into this place. 
Well, it's just because she's really scared, you know? Yes, she is. And the people from my time were scared, too. And they took that fear and they turned it into anger towards me. Allison, these are the same people with small minds and closed hearts who killed me. You have to keep Livy and her father out of this shop. Or you'll be very sorry. We both will. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles, Superstition. Next Port Charles. Jamal, what is he talking about? Me and Jack are here to take you away. Just, it's just it. for your own good. Over my dead body, you and what army? A trap. Marrying you. Would have been the worst mistake I ever made. If you missed any of Poor Charles this week, catch up now with the Poor Charles Marathon. All five of this week's episodes are on now, only on SoapNet.